you know, most situations, I'm, I'm more of a violent character. I actually do have a very excellent joke I'd like to tell all of you. Now bear with me, it's, it's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Please do not lean against the light switch. Oh. Uh, I saw you. Okay. Yeah. Next time you do that, you are in the cosplay competition. <laughs> There's an architect, okay? He's a very, very, how can I put it? Pat, he's very obsessive compulsive. And whenever he makes something, it has to be so exact that there's nothing left over, right? So one day somebody commissions him to build a brick path through his backyard. So he does, and he builds the whole thing, and he looks over and there's like five bricks left, right? So the architect's like, damn it, I have to make something else. So he goes to the guy and he says, I'll do it free of charge, I will make you a, you know, a gigantic, like, wall made out of bricks. The guy says, yeah, sure. So he calculates everything else, and there's nothing left over. He mills the wall, and there's three bricks left. And he's like, damn it, I have to do something again. Because I can't just let these bricks sit there. So the man, he says, look, I'm going to, I'm going to build you one other thing. Just, just, just something, just, you know. Trust me on this, I can't have anything left over. So the guy says, okay. And he builds this, just, this gigantic, like, jacuzzi made out of bricks. It's amazing, it's fabulous. There's stairs, it's like a water feature. It's fabulous. And he looks over, and there's one brick left, so he takes the brick and throws it up in the air. Boring! Oh. No! <laughs> you want to say that. No, 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 no. I've, got, I've got a better one. All right, you to, trust me on this, okay? I'm sorry, I forgot something in the first one. Okay. There's a man and a woman. No. They're on a plane. The man is smoking a cigar. You know, fancy like it's first class, and the woman has a dog, and the dog starts barking. The man turns over and he says, "Can you please get your dog to stop barking, please?" The woman says, "You need to, you need to put out your cigar. The dog won't bark unless there's, you know, unless there's smoke in the air." And the dog starts barking, and the man says, "Well, it's first class. I can do whatever I please." So he continues to smoke, and he's blowing smoke everywhere. And the dog keeps barking, and they keep arguing, and the dog's like, burr, 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 burr. and he's smoking. There's blue smoke everywhere, and you can't even see anything in the first class window. So the man takes the dog, he punches a hole through the airplane window, and he throws the dog right out the window. And the woman goes, oh my gosh, and so she takes the cigar from the man's mouth, and she throws that out the window, and then they stare at each other, and they realize that they just threw a dog out the window. So they throw themselves up against the window, and they look out, and on the wing of the plane, there's the dog, and guess what's in its mouth? A cigar. The brick! Oh.